TikTok is a video sharing app that lets users create and share short videos. It impressed us with its personalized recommendation just for you precisely. It is highly addictive and very popular among young people. Behind it, it is powered by artificial intelligence technologies. In this video, I will illustrate the architecture of the TikTok recommendation system. There are three components, big data framework, machine learning, and the microservice architecture. Big data is the starting point of the recommendation system. Most data are coming from the user's smartphone. TikTok pays special attention to users' activity logs. The log data are collected and aggregated through Flume and Scrap. They are piped into Kafka queue. Then Apache Storm processes data streams in real time with other components in Hadoop ecosystem. This includes MapReduce, which process data in parallel with batch processing. Yang is a framework for cluster resources management. HBase is a distributed database. HDFS is a distributed file system. Hive is a data warehouse infrastructure. Zookeeper is a high-performance coordinate service. As data volumes grow fast, new frameworks have come to the picture. Apache Spark enhances the performance of MapReduce by doing the processing in memory. The newer framework Flink have been deployed to do real-time streaming processing in the last couple of years. Machine learning is the brain of the recommendation system. This is where the magic happens. As the data sets pour in, Next is content analysis and user profiling. The neural network deep learning framework, TensorFlow, are used to perform computer vision and native language processing. Here are the classic machine learning algorithms. The common recommendation techniques are applied. The secret weapons of TikTok are following. The first is algorithm experimental platform, which support multiple algorithm mixing, testing, and adjustment. The second is extensive work in classification, labeling. The model is based on the user's engagement, such as watch time, sweep, in addition to common used user history, likes, and comments. The number of stored user features, vectors, and categories are more than most of the recommendation system in the world. The third is user feedback engine. It updates the models after retrieving feedback in multiple iterations and ultimately improves the predictions and the recommendations. Some of the artificial intelligence work have been moved to the client side. That includes real-time training, modeling, and reasoning in smaller scale performed on the devices. TikTok has embraced cloud-native infrastructure. The recommendation components, such as profiling, predictions, Cold star user feedback are serving as APIs. The curation videos will be pushed to the users through cloud. TikTok uses Kubernetes-based containerization technology. Kubernetes is the tool set to automate the application lifecycle. Kubeflow is dedicated to making deployments of machine learning workflow on Kubernetes. As part of cloud native stack, Service Mesh is another tool. It controls how different parts of an application share data with one another. The services are built with Go language and gRPC. Go has become the dominating language in service development. More than 55% service use it due to its good built-in network and concurrency support. gRPC is a remote procedure control framework to build and connect services efficiently. TikTok not only harness existing technologies, they go extra miles to optimize at the system level. As the TikTok principal put it, sometimes the infrastructure beneath is more important than the algorithms above. That's it for how TikTok works. Architecture explained. Please leave your comment below. I'm Vivian. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I will see you soon.